Hello again, friends. It's been it's really good to be able to share some time of reflection with you. And I thought we could concentrate today on the theme, darkness to light. Do you remember a few weeks ago, we were all plunged into darkness for a temporary <laughs> um, power cut. We didn't know at the time it was temporary and we don't like that feeling of being plunged into darkness. Couldn't find the candles, don't know where the torch is, uh, don't know what's going to happen to the food in the freezer, etc. Just that mild panic that comes upon you when you think that you're going to be left there <laughs> in the darkness. We've enjoyed recently the lovely light nights and what a difference uh, the light nights bring uh, to our just our well-being and to the people around us as well. I heard a really powerful interview in the week. There's been a lot about addictions recently in radio phone-ins and TV coverage, etc. And this girl called Katie was interviewed. That's not her real name. But Katie is a senior accountant and she became blighted by the darkness of gambling addiction on her mobile phone. It was like a game at first and she got so caught up in it that she was so ashamed to talk about it and couldn't until she then became plunged into £125,000 of debt. She has since been re rehabilitated because one of the gambling companies, both of them were overseas, um, has agreed to pay her rehabilitation costs of £34,000. The darkness there um, is a reminder that there are so many people lost in a life of darkness. Darkness is insidious. The, the sin, the darkness that comes into our lives, it comes on gradually, but it's so harmful. And Katie had to move back in with her parents at the same time as all of that darkness was happening in her life. And um, she just didn't feel that she could get out of it and she became totally lost is there were two MPs in Parliament who were working to change the laws around gambling and the regulations there for the companies. They were from opposing companies, uh, opposing parties, and yet they were busy campaigning on behalf of all of those lives that were lost and um, hurt by the, the power of this horrible addiction. Now, there are lots of addictions. There's <clears throat> lots of alcohol addiction. And we've heard a lot about the drug deaths in Scotland. There's a lot of drug addiction across Scotland. And when you meet people who are caught up in these um, addicted lives, it is so sad. It's not one thing that gets them there. It's, it's a whole catalogue of things that go wrong within their lives. And lots of them haven't had a good start in the first place. But there is a lot of darkness in this world. Jesus' light has never been extinguished, but he expects us and he leans on us and he wants us so much to have a sense of urgency around our Christian faith so that some of the darkness can be eradicated, that we can bring Christ's light to those around us. In the Bible we read, you are the salt of the earth, but if the salt has become tasteless, how can it be made salty again? It is no longer good for anything except to be thrown out and trampled underfoot by men. You are the light of the world. A city set on a hill cannot be hidden, nor does anyone light a lamp and put it under a blanket, but on the lampstand, and it gives light to all who are in the house. May it be that within our own lives that we acknowledge that there is darkness around. There are things that would tempt us away from Christ, there are things that would change our lifestyle so that Christ is pushed out. And we need to be aware of that. Let's be faithful to Christ and let's be ready to share his light to those who are living lives of darkness, desperation, lives that need to be rescued. May we be part of Christ's mission and family to help to bring light to this dark world. Shall we pray? Father, we thank you because you have saved us and brought your light and power and grace into our lives. Help us to be mobilised, Lord, towards your mission. And please lead us, dear God, to help to bring some light into the world around us. Help us too to acknowledge our own sin, our own failings, our own shortcomings. And Lord, please forgive us and set us back on your track so that your light can increase in the world around us. Amen. Amen.
Thank you again for sharing.